What's up guys, I am John and you're watching Johnny Fabs and in this video we're going to introduce a new car to the channel. So let's go outside and take a look at the car and see what we're going to do for this build. So it is a 1996 Ford Escort. It is bone stock, still has the 1.9 liter um, Ford motor in it. And so let's pop the hood, take a look. We'll do a quick walk around. It's not in bad shape. I mean, it is a Michigan car. So we have rust up here, so rockers are getting a hit, quarter panels, but we're not too worried about that. We'll pop the hood and we'll get a clip of it running. Um, it is down one cylinder, uh, cylinder four, which is pretty common on these single cam uh, 1.9 SPI motors. So that's not going to be a problem. That's kind of why we're doing this. We're going to do a build and like the title says, we're going to do a case swap. So we'll show you this car and then we'll show you how we're going to go about doing the case swap all right guys so here's a look inside of the car um like i said it's bone stock interior the car does run and drive it's just like i said it's down one cylinder so it uh, runs pretty rough and has no power um but the car does start up and run uh the exhaust leaks pretty bad but we're going to take care of all that all the heater controls and ac still work so maybe we'll be able to keep that stuff uh working but let's get into uh, showing you guys the engine bay so here's a look at the engine bay um the engine it's all there like i said it's bone stock so there's no mods and it's all there which is nice it's complete i can take out what i don't need and keep what i do need but all together it's a pretty all together car uh pretty solid like i said it has some rust um but we're not gonna worry about that right away but let's get this car backed into the garage and uh, start tearing into this and hopefully by the end of this video We'll have this stock motor pulled out and maybe we can show you guys what we're going to use for the case swap. So let's get this thing in there and start tearing it down. All right, guys, so we got it pulled in. This thing is hilarious. It sounds like a tractor is so loud and it runs so rough. It sounds like an old tractor. So let's get this old tired motor out. And uh, yeah, so I'll just set up the camera. We'll start tearing into this thing. And I'll take you guys along when I see fit for updates. <laughs> no cool, but yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> So I just was taking the radiator hose off. Um, I thought it would splash water down, so I got drip pan, but no water came out of that um, radiator, upper radiator hose. So I'm not sure if it even has any water in it. So it's a good thing we're getting rid of this motor. Uh, we'll have to check that radiator. I don't know if we're gonna end up using it, but if it has a leak, we'll have to end up replacing that. Hope not, because that'll affect our budget. So let's keep... Uh, disassembling and disconnecting as much as we can so we can get this thing out of here all 
All right, guys, so here's an update of where we're at. So we basically got everything unwired. Um, we got the radiator out. We got the airbox out. We got the trans unbolted here. Um, I think we're going to try and drop it out of the bottom um, and then jack the car up even higher and slide it out. Uh, I still have this motor mount to uh, zip out and the axles need to be pulled out. But everything else is at least loose or disconnected and then uh underneath on these escorts it has like this subframe connector so i got those four bolts out and we're getting ready to drop it down What is up guys it is now day two for the ford escort build last night we got the motor pulled out of it um completely i'll show you guys that now so you guys can see uh, last night it was getting dark so it was hard to film the um final tear out of it but we did get it dragged out we just ended up uh jacking the car up high enough put it on the jack stands and then slid the motor and, and training out all in one um I did end up having to cut the axles out because I wasn't able to get the axle out on this side. Um, so I just cut it. Uh, that's going to be okay because we're going to end up having to swap the axles anyways. And it just made it a lot easier um, to get the motor out. So here's a look in the engine bay with no motor. Um, there's still going to be a lot of cleanup um, and whatnot. So... For now, I am just going to put the wheels back on and get the car jacked down back onto the ground, and then we'll pull in the donor car. And you guys get to see the, for the first time what we're going to be using to case swap this Ford Escort. Guys, you just seen me push out the escort and i just pulled in the new donor car for the k-swap as you can see behind me it is a honda crv it's a 2002 honda crv with the k24 it has a five-speed manual and it's all-wheel drive so let's take a look at it i'll pop the hood you can see it has the k24 um this is a high mileage um crv but it was a good deal got it on marketplace for six hundred dollars so it was a complete running driving car just the starter was out of it so I had to put a starter in but i just bump started it uh when i was at the guy's house so we bump started it and um fires right up runs and drives um everything works on it um the only issue is i think it's the master cylinder because the clutch pedal sticks to the floor uh, you can pop it back up with your foot and keep driving but those are the small little issues that we'll have to address um, when we go to put this K into the escort but uh, yeah that's a look at the donor car so if you guys are keeping track that is a thousand dollars we're at right now for the escort and the donor car so we're on track for a really low budget build but I think that's going to be it for this video. Uh, stay tuned for more. The next video will probably jump into pulling the motor and drivetrain out of this CRV. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe so you can 
keep updated on the build and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and got something out of it. Peace.